Welcome to Uncut Angling. We're doing fall pike today, northern Manitoba, Moak Lodge, Cedar Lake. Master angler, 41 inchers, right there. Cheers, buddy. So off the side there, the stem's coming up, and you can see textbook, baby. They have so many different names, but the whole deal, though, is that you give it a rip, and it pauses everything. Look at this average size. This is Uncut Angling. Thanks for tuning in. This program is part entertainment and part education with some ridiculous. We are hot on YouTube and Facebook. Please join us on there for the latest. I'm Aaron Reed, the host. We've got Jay Siemens doing a lot of the camera work and a fleet of other contributors working with us to give you the goods on whatever bites we're chasing. We don't script our shows and we don't stage hook sets. Strip our passion right down and it's exactly the same as yours. Unscripted, unstaged, uncut. This is Uncut Angling. Uncut Angling is proudly partnered with Alumacraft Fishing Boats, Humminbird Electronics, Minkota Trolling Motors, Shimano Reels, G Loomis Rods, Jackal Lures, Plano Tackle Storage, Fraybill Trusted Gear, and Power Pro Line. This is sweet. We have legendary angler Dylan Beck here with us. We're on a uh, brook trout bite here. Monsters. Monsters! Monsters! So, this is your spot basically, This eh? is the secret hidden hole. What's the deal? Uh, well, it's a nice deep pool here, about six, eight feet all the way through. And we got a little bit faster moving water on either end. Uh-huh. So they, uh, they're not, first of October, it's post-spawn now. So they're in the deeper water, slacker water a little bit here. Just chilling out? And we're just gonna, you know. Probe the depths? Probe the depths, do a few drifts. Okay. And uh, whack some brookies. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. Yeah, baby. Got a little uh, day kit here. Some crankbaits, some spoons, some spinners. A couple little muck jigs for dragging the bottom. If there wasn't so much slime on the bottom, we'd get into some just a jig and a twister tail, which works really good in the fall, especially. Dylan was saying for getting down to some deeper fish, but. That's our box of tricks. You can see it all. Little Cleo, all day. Okay. All day. Should like, it be a, a fish on every cast, or like it should I... be? But it's uh, I've had a couple casts here with no, okay. no luck. But you know that's why it's called fishing and not catching. It's called angling. Exactly, uncut. You're sure I'm not doing anything wrong here? Because I've made several casts I without know. a bite. I think there's no fish here. We should go to a six mile hole. This is three mile hole. Oh, that is a monster! Right close to shore. Dylan, buddy, I'm here. You on that net? Do you want me to net this one? Is it big enough? I would it love looks, you to. It looks monster in every proportion. All right, nice. The hook just popped out nice and easy. Oh, Gavin. Beautiful, beautiful brook trout. Nice colors. Full <laughs> spawn there. I would say. Yeah. That's what, about 2021, you figure? Yeah. Yeah. All right, that's enough. We'll just let him go. <laughs> that First works, fish. buddy. First fish. That took about five minutes. That's OK. Oh, right there! I was just in there! Big boy! Nice yeah, buddy. When you're looking for a fishing boat, you want a boat that's tough, stylish, and has incredible fishability. Whether you're fishing large bodies of water, small inland lakes, or rivers, Alumacraft builds a boat with you and your family in mind. Alumacraft. It's what fishing is all about. Alrighty. Can I call you a sandbagger? Can't say I'm tangled. Are you filming? Yeah. I'm fishing. I'm tangled around my tail. That's a serious tangle. Yes, that's a good one. Kind of a rookie move. Well, it happened when I put my rod down to net your fish, actually, Dylan. It happens. That one hit pretty close to shore, eh? That was like, like, like yeah, level with me. Try not to go that far out because I have caught some pretty close into shore and you're kind of muddying up the water here. What are you saying? You're mucking up the gears, really. So and, uh, fish in the river don't walk in the river? You want me to back up a bit? What was that all about? That was a rock rub. 
algae off the rock. Is this far enough back for you, Dylan? That's perfect amount of farness. Maybe I should so. just angle it to block you off from the camera here. No. No? That's kind of uh, rude. Okay, you want so, some? So, uh, I just really like to see you catch a fish. You want some airtime here? You're kind here, of being uh, slack in here. And don't worry, slapping the spoon on the water does not scare away the fish. No. I don't know why you'd say Casting it would. right over your line does, though. <laughs> oh, oh, no! Oh! I was Did just standing that? there. Dylan, that is where I was just standing, and you told me, back up. Wow, this is like, I feel like I'm actually being guided. Dylan, I don't think I need the net. I've got oh. him. I can't believe you're actually catching on that color. I am, in fact, using a gold and red little Clio, which, how do you describe it? As a secondary color when secondary, we're walking out here? Secondary, yeah. Yeah, exactly. a secondary color, and yet it's what he handed to me to tie on <laughs> for my first bait. So there she be. My first rookie of the day, it looks like a, a lean 19-incher. Not bad, I know I'm gonna get bigger. Am I gonna get bigger? You will eventually. Okay. Damn, Bye. buddy! Yeah! Yes! This is awesome. I can't believe how close to the bank these fish have been, Dylan. It's Dylan, right? Oh, I just got whacked again. That I'm was not. A rock. No, it wasn't a yes, rock. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. I'm gonna poach that so bad. What if I cast to the same spot and catch a fish? You won't. Oh! oh! Right there! Okay, that was awesome, Dylan. Look how dark that one is. How red its belly is. Did you see him come right out I of the did, water? I did, I did, I enjoyed it. I think we're gonna net this guy? Well, I was gonna get the net and then I thought, well, well if you I may kept as well casting, catch one, right? I might catch one, yeah. They travel in pairs usually. Well, is it spawning pairs or? Spawning pairs, okay. couples. Kind of a swingers party. Maybe we won't net them. Okay, that is beautiful. Look at that. Look at those colors. Look how red its belly is and the fins. Fishing God's country. Let them go here. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get that off film him? Hitting yeah, it? that was outrageous. Right there. Right on the bank, like you said, basically. This is a good sized female. I think it's a female. Dylan, are all the light colored ones going to be females? Uh, yeah, post spawn, they're all kind of pale, right? Come on, bud. Come on. Oh yeah, this is a nice fish. This is gonna be a nice fish. Yeah. Look at the colors on that. No big kite, but just amazing colors on that fish. Right against like a bank, right? Like Dylan keeps telling me. Just gonna pop that hook out of the corner of his mouth there. Gonna let this guy go. He's still got tons of energy. Bye bye! Yes, Dylan! I love this! Yeah, buddy! This is fun! Feels like a big fish, actually. Fish on! That's a big fish. Yep. It's a big fish. Yes. 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 That is a hog. Yes. Yeah, baby. Okay, you want to grab my rod? You got the hook out? Yeah. Oh, that is great fish. What a beautiful fish. Big. Right there. Big boy. Nice yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Kick butt. That rocks, Dylan. That's a huge net, eh? Yeah, but it's good for if we want to snap some pictures, we can just keep the fish in there. and. That's exactly yeah, what we were doing with the lake trout net yesterday. Yeah. Just like It's like a big pen net. Like yeah. That fish is totally chill now. You can yeah, see you him swim around circles. circles yeah. There. That way he stays alive and not so stressed. Yeah, seems like overkill, but it's good for the fish. Let's get some pictures. So you see their lake in northern Manitoba using some big baits. Cutting some big pike at Molt Lodge. There we go, nice fall pike. Uncut Angling is proudly partnered with Alumacraft Fishing Boats, Humminbird Electronics, Minkota Trolling Motors, Shimano Reels, G Loomis Rods, Jackal Lures, Plano Tackle Storage, Fraybill Trusted Gear, and Power Pro Line.
you want to say something or should I? I'm not gonna. Okay, go ahead. Welcome to... Go ahead. Welcome to Uncut Angling. Today, Aaron and I are on a uh, huge lake, huge reservoir actually, Cedar Lake in northern Manitoba. Using some big baits, hunting some big pike. Yeah. See how many times he said big? It's big season. Everything big. This is actually Cross Bay on Cedar Lake. We're staying with our good friend Chris McCutton at Moak Lodge. Cedar Lake is just an amazing fishery, drive to fishery, multi species, Moak Lodge. You're going to want to check this place out. Chris says this is the time of year he has the most trouble filling his place, and yet it's the best fishing. And he says, like, people are coming for beach weather in the summer, and yet this is uh, the time to be here. So you can see, actually, we're right in the middle of a cabbage bed. We just pulled in here. It's a little easier to see the white speckles on the side imaging of the cabbage all to the side there and the stems coming up, but you can see remnants of it on the 2D there as well. Jay's got the trolling motor down and we're gonna start chucking the big baits for some big bites here. Boom. Here we go. Cast numero uno. So Jay, what are we looking for when we come out here looking for cabbage basically, in a nutshell? Take this um, home away. You know, you can spend time driving around. I find the quickest way is just to look for other boats and at the mouth of any bay. Mouth of any bay, especially this bay has got a creek in the back which is going to bring in fertility. Yeah. Lay down fertility over the years and that's where that cabbage is going to grow. Another area which is really good is any area with sand. If you see beaches on shores, that's a good area to check for, scout for cabbage yeah. out front. Behind islands. Behind islands. Only the saddles between the islands and the mainland will yeah. be a really good bet for cabbage. Definitely. By behind, Jay means probably between mainland and island or else on the south side of an island because that's going to be sheltered from cold north winds and also it's going to receive that, that sun from the, uh, the south. Why do they like that suet? Just that, oh, they like it so much. It's ridiculous. They love it. It's the twitch, 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 pause. Twitch, twitch, pause. Twitch, 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 twitch. There's oh. a big fish. Wow, that was cool. Great boat side. <laughs> that was quite musty lake. Yeah, he was just staring it down at the last second he lunged. twitched it. I'm gonna grab him here. Please. The way he's wrapped, I don't think he's yeah. gonna throw that bait. These suex are probably the worst bait for getting them to throw, but the way he's got that wrapped all around, I don't think this one's gonna get off. Cool. First fish today, about a what do you 32 like? incher, probably. 32 incher, maybe a 9, 10 pounder. Not the size of pike that we're up here at Cedar Lake for, but. An average. Yeah, a gateway drug, so to speak, into the fall pike fishing deal here. I'll open that for you, Jay. There we go. That was easy enough. I'm gonna put them straight in, and we're gonna get back to catching a bunch more of these biggies. Let's do it. <laughs> Textbook was, release there, yeah. eh? It's the suic time. Yeah, baby. Nice. Hard to say at the start there how big it is because he's shaking so much. And you're fishing with a bass rod. And I'm fishing with a largemouth bass rod. I don't think it's a monster. Ooh! Spots on that one. It's one of those tiger musky pike. This is a very unique fish to Cedar Lake. It's got spots similar to a, a musky. A lot of people actually mistake it for a musky when they catch it. Spunky. Get that fish in. I'm gonna try everything I can. Got her. That no is way one way. cool looking fish, buddy. I haven't seen uh, I haven't seen that before. But have you heard of it? People come up here yeah. and they think they're catching musky when they catch these things. You got him. Awesome. Go on that glide and wrap, working it down nice and deep. Look at those colors! That is like as cool as catching yeah. a big 40 inch. Gone. Awesome. Jeez, that's cool. Well, if you're happy with catching that, I'll catch a big one then. And... <laughs> glide and wrap, working it down deep, and that's a cool reward. I'm gonna join you. Okay, you can take him. Oh, I can get in your way, you mean, while yeah, you set the hook? please. <laughs> How's it feel? Uh, bigger than the last one. Cool. Look at that wide body. That's what fall pike are supposed to look like. I'm gonna keep fishing, Jay. Please. Fatty. Just pounding that suet along. This fish rocked it. And that is looking more like a typical fall pike. We're gonna get longer yet, but uh, we get some big girths. Nice. 
this is what I've been having some luck with, the old Suic, and uh, you know, working it pretty quick. Aaron's working the gliding wrap, pretty much the same deal, just a little bit smaller. And I was going to show you how how much smaller it actually is, because this feels like a huge rappella, but your your bait's quite a bit bigger. Yeah, and different times of year, different retrieves, but now I'm I'm ripping it in fast. Yeah, nice. Baby. This feels good. This definitely feels good. And just like that, even with these big baits, the whole key is letting it pause, and that's the the triggering mechanism for the fish is when they see that bait just hanging weightlessly yeah. in the water. Another one on the pause. Nice. Look at that gliding wrap, just T-boned in there. <laughs> okay, you want me to get them for yes. you? Yes. Be my pleasure. You got a good hold? I got a great hold. Okay, that one's down there. I'm gonna grab the pliers. I'm gonna go in and out. Pull so out. easy. There we go, nice fall pike. You, oh, sorry, Jay. He's gonna be real spunky still, isn't he? I'm assuming so. <laughs> Here's what I'm using. A glide and wrap, and like I was saying, why don't you grab your suic there, Jay? I'll just give a little demo on how much smaller this actually is. And this is the biggest glide and wrap they make. It's a, a relatively big bait, but Jay's suic is way bigger. So both different types of twitch baits. Different actions. Yours is more of a side to side, mine's just nosing down and yeah the twitch baits glide baits jerk baits they have so many different names but the whole deal though is that you give it a rip and then it pauses and that hang time is when the fish the pause is everything when the fish have been cranking it yeah cool okay there's obviously fish in the area you know i'll give you the front of the boat all right we'll take the front of the boat so the basic technique here is i put my butt my hand on the butt of the rod way down here and then when I'm casting I'm actually pulling down with this hand and pushing up with this hand so it's a nice smooth action like this as opposed to really trying hard moving my shoulders a bunch so it's just a nice smooth action and then I'm going to follow through and I'm putting it up in the air picture like throwing a spiral football that's the angle you want to throw your lure so that it gets the maximum distance so I'll just show you here I'm going to follow through and I'm going to slowly lower my rod tip down with the bait right to where it hits the water and then work it in. And that makes all the difference for getting those real long bomb casts. And pull Greg on his tank. There he is. Big fat fall pike. Uncut Angling is proudly partnered with Alumacraft Fishing Boats, Humminbird Electronics, Minkota Trolling Motors, Shimano Reels, G Loomis Rods, Jackal Lures, Plano Tackle Storage, Frayville Trusted Gear, and Power Pro Line. Good work though. Thanks. So did I steal yours or did I take mine? You stole mine. You stole yours? Yeah. I gave it to you. Being the friend that I am. There we go. That. Could be big. It. Got a nice tail on it. Feels heavy. Definitely feels heavy. Come on. What's up size? A bit. Getting there. Does he forget what's going on here? No, oh, no, he knows what's going on. One treble. I got confidence in you, Jay. Nice. Upgrading. You pop them out there, buddy. Yep. Use those pliers like a jaw. Spreader. Flip oh, them be careful. over. Treble. Perfect. Another reward off there that waypoint. Yeah, there still, is a bigger one though, I think. Still not the big fish that's living there, but uh, that's a nice fish. Definitely. Back in. They are all releasing great. I was already babbling about it, but all those waypoints I put down earlier are really coming in handy, and I'm even adding them as I go here. What you don't see while we're filming and, and fishing is all the work that we do, scouting for cabbage beds, zigzagging along the shore, marking it up with waypoints. You can see my other screen here. On the big screen, it's just littered with all sorts of different icons, and that's marking the edge of the weed bed. It's marking where we've seen big fish, where we've caught big fish. And then what we have is a ton of reference points to fish with later. And you know, if you, if you were to use marker buoys like we do in a lot of our shows and a lot of our fishing, you'd have like 50 marker buoys out here to properly show you what you've done already throughout the day. So this is just so handy. And you know, this is a big expensive sonar unit, but back when I had a smaller one, like a five inch screen, or even a handheld, it was the same deal. Using waypoints to help you fish, to help you know where you've covered. We've got trails showing us where we've already fished already. And now that we've got a big screen, it makes it a little easier to see, but there's no excuse for not using that technology, even on the cheaper end of it. it certainly does help us cover the water here. 
find the weeds, mark the weeds out, fish them through. Right, Jay? Just catch some fat jacks. Catch fat jacks. That one a little bump during your... Oh. Fish? Probably just a weed, actually. There he is. Guess it was a fish. Push them right on the edge of these brown just, weeds here. Just grab them. Uh, I grab the weed sample and I will grab the fish. A fish sample? Okay. Got him. Perfect. I'm gonna pop that hook out before I get in the face. Cool. Energetic fish there. I'm just gonna put him right back. He's gonna go crazy if I don't. This is the good stuff. Yeah or one of a lot of good yeah. weeds we like to fish. And this is actual cabbage weed. You can see there's- It's a little mucky, but- Flat surfaces on there. Yeah, it's mucky. It's been sitting on the bottom or something. It's got some dirt on it. There's a lot of good pike weeds. This is a typical good type yeah. of weed. The greener, the better. That's exactly what it is. Green weeds is what you want to be fishing. So if you see dead weeds, keep looking for uh, green weeds. And typically that's deeper later in the season. Yeah. So right now we're fishing in weeds that are about 10 feet deep. And that green is still giving off oxygen. It's That's why the little fish are there and that's why... That's why the whole food chain yeah. is there. It's, it's all totally happening. So throughout the season you start in the shallows, you're fishing shoreline weeds that are turning green and coming in and then you just go deeper and deeper and deeper as the weeds die off in the shallows. You can see behind us the brown along the shore. All those shoreline weeds that used to be green are now brown and dead and now those fish have moved out. Boom goes the suet. The swick, some people like to call it. Oh, ho, ho, yeah. Throttle. Rock. Oh, yeah. Nice. That's right on the edge of, of net size there, eh? You think I can grab him? Is he hooked good? Uh, I would personally probably net that. But if you're feeling adventurous. I'll grab him. I'll grab him. He looks like he's pinned good. That is a big fish. Yeah, he's definitely got him pinned good. Oh, it's because of the way he's hooked that Jay has told me that I should probably use the net. You can see it's gonna be real hard. I gotta get between Ooh. the hooks. This is definitely not recommended by anyone in the boat or out of the boat. <laughs> Look how he's That was not getting away. Pin shot there. Hey, not a superstar again, no. but big fish, big fat fall pike. You can see he's got those hooks. Closing the gill plate from either side, definitely a risky grab there. I do not recommend that to anyone. Pop that out. And again. Sweet fish. Nice ball pipe. Yeah. Good job, Jay. Thank you, sir. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Uncut Angling is proudly partnered with Alumacraft Fishing Boats, Humminbird Electronics, Minkota Trolling Motors, Shimano Reels, G Loomis Rods, Jackal Lures, Plano Tackle Storage, Fraybill Trusted Gear, and Power Pro Line. Oh. Oh. Nice. Is that, decent? that was awesome. That is decent. Yeah. And a nice strike. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, that's Big. not small. Big. It's off. Oh, wow, that was nice. Oh.